another easy out match. I know I've been away for like forever. Thanks so much for coming and for watching. I've got Imperium here and Bleakinator. They're gonna cast this match for me. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna start. And say hi guys. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, hey. everyone? Cool. Whoa, that went into draft really quick, like. Maybe wow. they yeah, so fixed looks it. Like he's turned right into it. We got the uh, highlight yeah. over the rhyme. Gotta go with the art. Ooh, an art in band. Team Gauntlet doesn't want to give away their gauntlet. I see. I see how it is. Yeah, that's that's the idea. So the two teams that are playing play are Team Gauntlet and Sync Gaming, I believe. If I, if, correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, yes, you're right. Yeah, that would be correct. Side A is Team Gauntlet. Side B is Sync Gaming. No problem at all. And we do have a trainee caster as a captain on the side of Sync Gaming, so we, we, we'll try not to be too biased about the about the, the gameplay that goes on. But yeah, we see <laughs> so we see an orange band and a black feather band which leaves um, Team Gauntlet able to pick up the rhyme as the first pick. Rhyme is really strong in a 2.9.1 patch. Uh, a really solid pickup. Of course, they've got the, the team that picks Rhyme, they've got to know how to use Rhyme's power spikes and how to play him within the game. But um, still a really solid pickup. Lyra, good, solid support pickup on the side of the gaming. Um, we'll see what, what uh, they'll be able to follow up with. Like. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. Um, I do like the uh, Lyra Kestrel pickup. Um, if you can get a little bit of that distance between uh, you and the Rhyme, the Glimmer Shots coming out from the Kestrel is going to be really strong. Yeah, especially like a one time she hits her 3-4 build item. 3-4 item build, should I say. But, uh, yeah, so box we're going to see the Vox and the Catherine. I will... I think it's an interesting pickup, uh, pretty good pickup to go with the Rhyme. Having the stuns to let Rhyme get on there with the chilled winds, so kind of lock them down while Vox kind of just pokes from the back. Yeah, it definitely is very good. Um, I do like the comp on the side of Team Gauntlet because you have the Merciless Pursuit on Catherine that will be able to stun up uh, any any uh, enemy he can get to. I say Kessler will be the main focus because um reza is quite slippery with his abilities he's got he's got his b that's able to kind of move away and his ultimate is able to kind of you no know, not be able to be seen for a split second um so i think kester is definitely gonna have to be team gauntlet's main target try and shut her down early on so it takes even longer for her to get her build um but this is gonna be a really interesting game like who do you think has a slightly better comp between the two teams from initial thinking? Mm, I, I really like um, side A with Team Gauntlet. Um, having that ca that uh, Catherine with the uh, Blast Tremor, being able to get that silence off, that can really shut down, honestly, all three of them. They can shut down the Lyra, the Reza, and the Kestrel, which is <laughs> really hard, and uh, can, can cause them lots of problems if they can't get those nice Crucibles out from the Lyra. Yeah, that, that's definitely true. Crucible is going to be really uh, a really strong item that's going to have to be picked up on Lyra. Actually, I would even turn around and say it would be probably wiser for the Lyra to pick up a Crucible first item instead of Fountain because she has the healing from her A already and the Bright Bulwark is going to help block um, any kind of initial engage on the side of Team Gauntlet and having that Crucible as a first item could Good so we're gonna see the uh, they're gonna be able to pick up the elder tree in front side blue Ryan gonna be able to finish off the uh, Reza and Lyra is gonna go down but the glimmer shots taking Catherine really low Catherine being able to get back though is not gonna be able to finish them off so that's gonna be a two kill lead going off for team gauntlet nice uh, early engage they got going there was able to pick off the elder tree as well and that puts them at a 1k gold lead right off the bat so that's gonna be a good advantage for them early on yeah, it is. It's a strong start for them. They do they do have the kind of bigger sustain early game compared to even though you have Lyra sometimes on the side of Sync Gaming, uh, you know, the, that rhyme is still pretty tanky and pretty sustainable early game. I just want to see him now look to snowball that, invade the enemy jungle, 
leave the Vox and the Kessler to c- kind of go at it themselves, Blake. And if, if Jerome can invade the jungle, get ahead of the... Merciless Reza. Pursuit coming out from the Catherine, going to go in, get the stun off on Sean, but going to be able to back out. Ryan, looking to get that Elder Tree, is going to be able to pick it off. And maybe the engage here, going to try to finish the farm up, just get a little bit of poke off with the uh, with your spires, and they're going to back off. So that's going to be another Elder Tree for Ryan, so really good uh, early farm he's getting here. Yeah, and this is what I'd like to see now, the, the Catherine and the Ryan going in looking to debate. Ooh, Merciless Pursuit coming out, going in, Winter Spires coming down, Shield Wind not going to land on anyone. But, uh, oh, Catherine getting poked out by Sean. Reza going in for the kill. Is he going to be able to finish off? No. Asflord is looking to take down Shaw. Catherine going to be able to get out. And oh, nice wind fire coming out from Ryan. He's going to be able to finish off the Kestrel with the basic attack. The little bit of crystal damage coming off from that is going to be great. Getting the heal from the mid heal is going to give him that energy he needs to get that chilled winds off. And Lyra is going to go down. Another double kill for Ryan. Man, Rhyme up 4-0 right now, over a 2k gold lead. This is what you want to see as your Rhyme, or as your teammates Rhyme. 100%, 100%. Oh, my and off. Is coming off, and there goes Kestrel. Sean looking to get a little bit of damage off, but uh, is not going to be able to get the farm. Catherine going in for the chase. There goes the Stormguard. Merciless Pursuit coming down. Is he going to be able to get him? There goes the stun. Winter Spire coming down. Is going to pop the flask. There goes the Chilled Winds. And Sean is going to go down from those basic attacks. The damage, continuous damage coming off from those, from his perk, is going to be able to finish him off. Uh, as of Lord and Fawad, I have to give credit to Fawad in that, in that kind of, in that little kind of long, elongated fight in the jungle. He got down really low, but he never, so to speak, poured it back. He didn't give up as a support because his job is to kind of, die is to sacrifice himself other supports would have kind of gone no i'm out of here but no he kept with the ride oh got nice out of uh, me coming out from reza is going to be able to take down the box box going out a little too far and the damage from reza gonna be able to finish him off uh continue what you were saying Imperium. yeah sorry sorry um yeah he he just played he played a really good support and backed off a little bit but then stayed in the fight and and was a solid nuisance and let the rhyme get the kills that you need to but yeah talking about that that little vox kill it was good by sean place to take advantage of that because as i said the, the vox needs to be careful not to overextend Ooh, i'm looking to go in get some nice damage off is able to connect the winter spire gets the chill is gonna be able to stun him with the valkyrie merciless pursuit gonna stun him under the winter spire and he's gonna be able to take out the kestrel but the turret shots oh fallad taking a little bit too much damage Still, still a better trade for the size of uh, these goggles, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Rhyme's gonna be able to come down here, get that health. For, oh no, Sean gonna get it, but the Winter Spire damage coming down, popping the flask, and he's gonna be able to get out of there. If Rhyme had have gotten that, I'm pretty sure he would have scored the kill on the Reza. For uh, sure. Story. Having that heal and the heal not going towards Sean would have done massive, like, siding towards him getting that kill. Yeah. Ooh, nice so, Sonic Zoom, there goes the Merciless Pursuit, is going to get blocked, but a Reflex blocked, but Vox is like, nope, I want the kill, and uh, Titan goes down. Ooh, Sean going in with his, popping the ult, and uh, the Merciless Pursuit is going to be able to stun him. Ooh, wait for it coming down from Vox, is getting some nice regen off from the Fountain and the uh, Poison Shiv. Doing some nice damage. Catherine getting low, but he's going to be able to back out. And Vox just getting some nice poke damage off. This Vox is really holding his own, to be honest. Sean, sure, great stuff. And Blake, I mean... Sorry. No, you're perfectly right. Oh, there's a Valkyrie. going to be able to finish off a Kestrel. Nice Merciless Pursuit coming out from Catherine. And Ryan looking to get the Lyra, but is not going to be able to finish him off. Oh, the arcane missile coming off from the perk from Lyra, almost taking a ass of Lord, but he's going to be able to survive on just a sliver and go back and jump. Vox able to secure that last turret, and that's going to be first turret for Team Gauntlet. Reza looking for the kill on Catherine is not going to be able to get it, but Catherine with the one shot one kill is going to be able to secure it. 
still still better trade off for deciding team gauntlet. Um, so sure. I mean, turret for team gauntlet, roamer for team uh, game sync or sync gaming. Definitely the better trade. Yeah. So they, this is really good stuff for team gauntlet. They're holding together pretty well as a team. I know um, Sean plays. He's he's hit his aftershock um, burst now with that first item, so he will be a little bit more dangerous in these team fights if he can get onto the box. Kestrel hasn't even got her first item, but she's gone for reflex, fuck, and weapon barrier defense. Uh, as we see a little bit of action in the jungle, Blake. Yep, uh, nice uh, merciless pursuit coming down. Sean getting caught out a little bit. Is going to throw his ult down, but Vox doing some nice damage. He's going to be able to dash over the wall, though. Nice escape coming off from Sean. Like you were saying at the beginning of this, Reza, really slippery, and if you can just get in there, do some damage, jump over the walls... They're going to have a tough time chasing you when they don't have any wall jump uh, heroes. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Uh, the, of course, Immersive Pursuit does the job when you're within range and you're able to get in, but if you're able to kite away like Sean did, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely harder to catch him out. But, yeah, it's... Um, I say, as I was saying, Reza's kind of hit that Aftershock Power Spike. The Kestrel on the carry position realistically you don't actually want defense maybe reflex block yeah for the blast term or for the mercy, mercy pursuit but there's kind of no point in getting weapon power defense you, you want to go kind of go hard or go home with kestrel power yeah that's the thing with the kestrel is you want to be able to get your damage out as fast as possible because once you get that those tyrant's monocles on with that sorrow blade you're melting him down pretty far and you see the merciless pursuit coming down on lyra lyra getting really low Nice damage coming off from Box that Sorrow Blade, but here comes Raza in. Nice damage coming down. There goes the old Valkyrie is going to be able to uh, secure that kill on Lyra. Lyra going down low. Kestrel is next, and Sean looking for the Catherine, but Catherine able to pop the flask. And here comes Rhyme looking for that <laughs> ace. Oh, and the dash from Reza not quite going over the wall, and that's going to be an ace for Team Gauntlet, and that's going to be a second turret. That was really Up good. To be about a 7k gold lead coming down for Team Gauntlet. Uh, up to an 8k just from that turret. That's a just really great early advantage they're getting off of this rhyme. So like I was saying, that snowball effect that you can get with the rhyme, like, uh, you invade the jungle, you get those early kills, and, and take down the crystal sentry a couple of times. It makes all the difference in these mid-game fights. Like, you see, even even though, um, got a good credit to Sean plays on the res, it took advantage they got hold of the box when he was on his own, but they still got to wait. Oh, Merciless Pursuit coming in on the Kestrel. There goes the Bulwark from Lyra, but there comes the Blast Tremor, not going to be blocked by no Crucible even up yet. Lyra using the Arcane Passage to get out, but the Valkyrie coming down on the Reza point blank, and is going to be able to take him out. Kestrel and Lyra both getting a little low, but there comes the Imperial Sigil, and Team Gauntlet going to go for the gold mine and increase that gold lead even more. Yeah, the, the, the issue is that Sean was just on his own, essentially, in a 3v1 situation at that point. He was right to kind of engage, but the rest of it, his team didn't engage with him. If the, if the caster had been a little bit more forward and looked to get damage either on the Rhyme or the, or the Vox, because I think at this stage, Vox should be um, Sync Gaming's target for both the jungle and the carry, because... He, you're not really going to take the rhyme out anytime soon because he's got shadow glass even with harvest. So that's the saying is dangerous. Oh, nice merciless pursuit coming down on the Kestrel. War Tread's coming down, but Vox not going to follow up, and the Kestrel is going to be able to get out of there. Reza coming up from behind is going to be able to jump onto Tanky, but it's going to dodge the ult coming out from Reza. Nice damage. There goes the fountain reflex block being popped by. Uh, Vox and uh, Valkyrie coming down is going to be able to finish off the res. There goes the Arcane Passage. Lyra looking to get out, but there goes the Winter Spire. Is going to be able to second the second proc on the Winter Spire is going to be able to take them out. And they're looking for this Kestrel. Oh, there goes the Rhyme getting some ace attacks off. There goes the Chilled Winds, and the Winter Spire is going to be able to finish them off. That's going to be another ace, and the Choke Point turret goes down. Now, uh, after you talk about uh, what happened there, talk a little bit about these builds. Tell the viewers like your opinion on it. Okay, so the, you have, um, as, but mind you, 
Gaunt, Team Gauntlet are not going to really give me much of a chance to talk about this. Yeah, there goes a Blast Tremor, oh. doing some nice damage, focusing the turret. Vax is going to be able to target that down. The Crystal is on its own, and Rhyme is just going to be able to focus that Vein Crystal down. And they're not going to be able to do anything about it. That's going to be game <laughs> one for Team Gauntlet. <clears throat> well, th this was... Even though Team Gauntlet as a team plays fantastically, this was the Rhyme show. This was the As Does Lord show in this, in this game. Yeah, I mean, 15-0 was just a really yeah. great performance by As Does Lord. So, as, as we now have a slight chance to break down these builds a little bit, Great Echo as uh, essentially third item um for the uh for the catherine because getting off that double blast tremor makes a big difference and stops the lyra let's say getting off the fountain getting off the heel that little bit uh it makes it a little bit harder you had the poison shiv sorry blade typical um first two items for a vox against this comp because you want to go against the, the healing of the lyra as well as giving yourself sustain you get the attack speed from the Poison Shave and then Star Blade, you know, you get that core weapon power damage. Shatterglass Eve on a Rhyme is <laughs> really strong because you have the the extra crystal power damage that Shatterglass gives you. It actually gives you more fortified health on your on your A ability on the sustain and then the Eve of Harvest, it just simply gives you more sustain and he then went for tier two boots and they just give make him that little bit more tanky. You know, overall, uh, Team Gauntlet just played way better as a team. Uh, Sync Gaming, they're far from out of it because I saw some really solid plays from Spawn Plays got onto the back line. He wasn't afraid to do that. Maybe if they have a slightly better early game comp in this next game, take away the Rhyme Blake, they will have a better chance. They are far from out of it. Okay, and yeah, come on sure. back. Yeah, for sure, and uh, actually the, Ka the uh, Catherine got Echo's second item. Uh, third item was actually the War Tread, so getting that okay. second uh, silence on the Blast Tremor that early was just such a detrimental aspect of this of this game. Because, because the... the imp, because imp, imp, the Catherine... come on back. Yes? Okay, great. Nothing, just asking you to come back so you can start the next match. But yeah, for yeah, those of ahead. you just joining us... I understand anything. Um, this is an easy L match. We've got Team Gauntlet versus Sync Gaming. This is match two. I'm about to switch up the put up who just won. And yeah, I've got Blakenator and Imperium casting for me. Thank you so much for the follow. Brizen GR and Jake the AI. You guys are awesome. And yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So uh, getting right back into the second game, we have, um... Sync Gaming on side A and Team Gauntlet on side B. We got the Rhyme ban for Sync Gaming and the Black Feather ban for Gauntlet. Give me your thoughts two on this. Pretty, well, two pretty meta bans, and I wouldn't be surprised that uh, Sync Gaming banned the Rhyme after that last game, and then Black Feather is a really solid ban on the, on the side of um, Team Gauntlet. So Iron Pickup, really strong support in the 2.9 patch. His Vanguard gives loads of um, heal his one punch does solid damage in its own right and then you have the gauntlet that is just a really good team fight in the theater Lyra coming out now on the side of um, team gauntlet hopefully they'll be able to take advantage of the Lyra but we do see uh, going back into party I don't know what happened there but um, we saw the Lyra Vox which are two pretty strong heroes together you have good sustain you have good kiting ability from both heroes Bright Bulwark do, is able to block any kind of engagement onto the Vox. So we'll see what um, what Sync Gaming will be able to counter with that. I think it's Sync Gaming. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do like yeah, the I, Vox I Lyra. Like Vox Lyra is actually a really solid comp. Wait, and, why uh, isn't it? Just why is, really what works just well together. Being able to get that damage in with that, uh, just the, the Sorrow Blade, the Shiv. Having the sustain from the Chiv as well as the uh, just the healing from the Imperial Sigil, you can just do so much damage, and you don't have to worry about backing off as fast on that box. Exactly, exactly. You're able to kind of stand your ground a little bit more, Blake, and kind of just try to deal out that damage a little bit more. Kind of, I wouldn't say it gives you more range as a box, but it kind of does because, as you said, you don't have to kite back maybe as much 
with the Imperial Residual and the Bright Wolver. And then at the end of the day, yeah, the Arcade Passage in a last ditch attempt to try and get away from any kind of engagement. So we're going to see this draft restart now, Blake. Same heroes are going to be picked up. Lyra are going into Vox. And then it seems like um, uh, 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 Ringo is going Possibly to a Ringo. Up. Yeah, going to see the Ringo coming out. They did say in picks, pick. right? It is pretty strong against Vox. But uh, you have to play it well, especially hey, Vox having that healing with the Lyra. Ooh, the Kashka. The old combo, the Ringo-Kashka. One of the, the, one of the biggest uh, old early game comps you could have. Yes, old school, baby. Old school, bring them back to memories. Ooh, the, the big old school oh, was Ringo, no. Kashka, Fortress. Oh, they went with the yes. Idris. Oh, man. Um, I, 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 Blake, I was, I was about to have all kinds of memories. Um, but look, hey, and Idris is still a good pickup. He's, he fell off the meta compared to a couple of patches ago, but he's still strong in his own right. Uh, seems like a sky is going to be picked up. They have picked up the sky to essentially try to counter the Idris, and having a CP sky, he is quite mobile. Um, so we'll be able to kind of kite around the, the Idris a little bit, maybe kite around the gauntlet, so he's not going to be blocked in on it. The only thing is that if Ringo gets a bit of a stronghold in this match. Ringo is stronger than people think, even though he's not quite in the meta with that crit build on the weapon power, which I presume is going to be weapon power Ringo of crit build of Sar Blade, um, Tyrant's Monocle, Tornado Trigger, and then even maybe a breaking point. He is very strong as a carry hero now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the crit build on Ringo just gives you so much damage output, and having that every time you take out a minion, you get that automatic crit no matter what your build is. Once you get that first Tyrant's Monocle, you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage every time you take out a minion. The next hit can just dish out so much to the enemy heroes and can give you such a just nice poke advantage. Yeah, definitely. And then, then even then, on the crit build, his ultimate. Um, I always forget the ultimate. Yeah, Hellfire, Hellfire Brew. Brew. There you go. Um, even if Hellfire Brew on a crit build, it was pretty solid damage. Yeah, it does. It's a great engage mechanic. And uh, Lyra looking to take the health tree and go in the back behind them, but he's not going to be able to take it. Arden going to try to close in the gap. And uh, is uh, Fawad going to get caught out? No, the, the uh, Vanguard coming down. And uh, she's just going to walk out of here, just trying to harass them a bit, take some of this farm. Oh! Oh, can she get the kill? The first blood coming out from Lyra. I think that was worth it if she goes down here. But no, she's got her teammates, both level 2. Looking to engage here. Sky coming down with the Surrey Strike forward barrage. Getting some nice damage off Vox. Poking with his basic attacks. There goes a forward barrage. Going to be able to take out that Idris. Really good job by Fawad getting that early harassment in. Was able to take down the Ringo and give them the perfect opportunity to go in and get that second kill. Yeah, the issue is that Titan Bowie, he was just taking too much damage off the minions. And he wasn't getting the the health from the... From the um, and the, the tree. So, yeah, from the health tree. So, there was no need for him to um, take so much heat off the jungle tree. And it's kind of his own fault that he went down a little bit. But uh, fair play to follow up. Oh, oh nice God. flask is going to come in just in the nick of time. Tanky going to be able to back up. Ringo almost able to finish him off with a flask. The barrier literally kept him from dying. Really great flask timing from Tanky. I've said it before and I'll say it again that healing flash is one of the best items that has been introduced. Ooh, nice Surrey Strike coming in. Forward Barrage not quite going to finish him off, but Basic Attacks is going to be able to take him down. And there goes Ringo. Bulwark coming down so Sean can't use his Shimmer sh or his, uh, yeah, his Shroud Step to uh, get that Chakram onto Asaflord. And he's going to be able to get the kill and just back off away from the Chakram. I'm consistently impressed with Asaflord um, between these two teams between two games because you can turn around and you can say Rhyme yeah he's a really strong Tanky hero taking style. a lot of damage from this Arden while he's trying to just get a lot of, some nice poke damage in on that turret turret almost about half health but uh, the Imperial Sigil coming out from Lyra is going to be able to bring Tanky back up to pretty much full health if he can get some energy down for that Imperial Sigil but uh, as well as the Book of Eulogy is going to get him up pretty high and back to full health Tanky goes able to just get back to farming 
Yeah, that's uh, good stuff on, on the side of Vaughn. That's the advantage of having a Lyra. Yeah, you can take that poke damage coming out from King Lucifer on that Arden while you just melt, not, not really melt the turret down, but just poke that turret down at three and a half minutes, already having it at half health is just going to give them such an advantage if they want to turret dive later in this game. Definitely. Uh, but we'll see now as, as the forward has now joined Tanky, you think it's a little bit more play. Now, here's what we're seeing on Thawa that we didn't see on the Lyra last game. We see the Crucible coming out first. It's going to get that healing up on the Imperial Sigil up a lot more often, as well as having that little bit of a barrier. Nice Imperial Sigil coming out, giving him that burst of health and speed. It's going to get him out of there. And here comes Scott with the four barrage. Surrey Stride getting behind them, getting some nice damage off on the Idris. Ringo going to go down from the Resonance Bounce coming off from Vox. Vox going in for the kill is not quite going to be able to take Arden down. But they're looking to push this turret, not having that Ringo to defend as well as the Idris. Idris going back to get a little bit of healing. That's going to be a first turret, it looks like, for Team Gauntlet. Yeah, it's uh, Team Gauntlet. Their rotations have been pretty much spot on, but the box is taking a little bit of damage, and the, the turret goes down before it takes the damage on it. So I like the focus by Team Gauntlet, taking the kills where they can as they are 4 0 up at this early stage in the game, and they are, what, near 3.5, nearly 4K. Go lead ahead. Um, this guy, the, as I said, as of Lord, fully impressed with him so far. Um, because Sky is, is definitely a, somewhat of a skill shot hero, you've got to be able to know how to play a Sky to take full advantage of him. Um, so we see the Chakram coming out, doing some nice damage off on Tanky, but Tanky being able to dodge that return on the Chakram. Here comes the Imperial Sigil, giving him some nice health. Four Barrage is going to be able to take the Idris down. Sky. There goes the death from above, is going to do some nice damage, slowing down King Lucifer. Surrey striking in with a forward barrage, swapping onto that Ringo. Ringo taking some nice damage, as of Door Lord getting low, but the Crucible is still up for Fawad, as well as the uh, Imperial Citra healing is going to be able to get him right back up. And that's going to be two more kills for the side of Team Gauntlet. Yeah, I still think Sync Game and do have a chance coming into this somewhat late game when the Ringo gets his items up at the Idris. It's just going to be a matter of locking down the right hero which I think um, it's definitely going to be up to Ringo to lock down and shut down the sky as early as possible because I think the sky is going to be focusing a little bit on Idris believe it or not uh, to try and counter the Idris and, and shut him down as much as possible in his fight uh, so if the Ringo can kind of get his crit damage and get that quick weapon power damage and burst down the, the sky it, they do have a chance of winning these fights which is going to take the right kind of fight for them definitely and team gauntlet is doing a great job um they're doing what you need to do when you have a a comp that can go aggressive if you want to go aggressive with it and having that lyra makes that vox and sky more able to go aggressive and they're being aggressive they were aggressive in this early game getting that early kill right off the bat even with just the lyra by herself and giving them that chance to get the little bit of a lead sky coming in for that kill nice forward barrage death from above not going to land on anybody Idris is going to use his Shimmer Strike to hop onto the sky, but it's still going to take some nice damage from that Ford Barrage. Vox doing a nice job against. There goes the wait for it. Going to do some nice damage. Able to take out the Ringo uh, Gauntlet, or uh, Arden coming down. I'm calling him Gauntlet now. Uh, Ford Barrage going to be able to take out that Idris, or take him down and let the basic attack from Lyra finish him off. King Lucifer really low, and Tanky is looking at that like, ooh, looks juicy. A nice T-bone steak right there. Let's take him out. <laughs> but I like that Tanky was just going for the um oh, Gauntlet the... coming down by Arden but the Bulwark coming down is going to be able to finish off the Arden but Ringo is going to be able to take down that box ooh Titan getting really low from that uh, Sky ooh there goes the Ford Barrage uh, Death from Above is going to be able to quarter him off Surrey Strike going to get him right behind him and that Ford Barrage is going to be able to finish off the, the uh, Idris ooh and Ringo stayed behind that's a little bit a little bit of a Oh, there goes, there he goes, looking to maybe go in with the Surrey Strike. Not going to get it in time, but it's going to be able to finish off that turret. Arden looking to do some nice damage on Sky, but Sky's just going to be able to get out with the help of the Imperial Sigil. And Team Gauntlet up two turrets to none. Man. With that almost they, 7k gold lead. Yeah. 10-1. And, and, and I, I kind of feel, it, I definitely feel a little bit bad for Sync Gaming, like, because... Uh, individual, I think they're actually playing okay as individual players. I just feel as a team, they just aren't 
being together at the right moment because he saw the Idris and Sean plays get a solid bit of a solid engagement with the tracker onto the sky, but he was way opposite the rest of his team. He was basically over the wall. And if they can find Oh, here goes Box right? going in for some nice damage, being able to take Ringo down low, but the Vanguard is going to be able to get him up. There goes the Fountain, but Vox still going to be able to take out the Ringo. Here goes the Inspirial Sigil, is going to be able to get him back up to half HP. Arden looking to get out of there, he's going to be able to escape. But great engage by Tanky, able to 1v2 against that at Ringo, take him down, the Imperial Sigil coming in clutch, keeping him just alive and able to get him in there, get a little bit of poke damage off. There goes the gauntlet as a little bit of a defense mechanism, but not really going to do much. Here comes Sky to help out, but getting a little bit low. Ringo coming back into the fight. Imperial Sigil getting back up to full health. There goes the four barrage. Sky low, but still helping out this team, not going back, knowing he can help his teammates out in this push. But the turret shots is going to do a number on Tanky. Yeah, it did just to... Game have just got to stick together um, on these little turret pushes as a three man team because you saw Sean Plays got caught out by the sky uh, in the mid century while while Vox and um, Lyra were just doing damage. Vox and Lyra looking to go in for this 2v, 2v3 here. Vox doing some nice damage. There goes the Chakram, is not going to connect on the rebound, but he is going to go down from the Ringo damage. Not quite able to have enough damage output to 1v or 2v3 here yet with that Vox, not having that breaking point yet. But still doing some nice damage, and Lyra is going to be able to port out of there. Yeah, the, definitely. Um, the Vox and Lyra are just stuck around for that a little bit too long. And as I said, Sync Gaming, they still they can't they stayed as a three man team. Like, oh, nice for barrage coming down. Ringo getting pretty low, getting that target lock onto the Arden. Definitely above is going to be able to stun him. Surge Strike going in. Ford Barrage onto the target locked Ringo, getting really low. Is he going to be able to finish him off? Ringo trying to get out of there. Imperial Sigil getting popped up. And Surrey Strike coming out right now. Ford Barrage going to be able to finish off the Ringo. Idris trying to lock onto that uh, Lyra, but is not going to do it much there at all. Ford Barrage coming down. The Shimmer Strike coming down from Idris is going to be able to get him a little bit immune from damage. But he's taking quite a bit. The Chakram doing some nice damage on the entire team against Gauntlet. But the Gauntlet coming down is going to shut down Team Gauntlet from getting that double kill right there. <laughs> Gauntlet shutting down Team Gauntlet. That's uh, pretty ironic, don't you think? But, um, yeah, Team Gauntlet just have a bit of a stronghold in this 11-minute mark. Like, 14-2. and two. Yeah, what? 7k, 8k gold lead ahead. And we have the Vox who has um, Poison Shift, Star, Star Blade. Two great items. I, I kind of surprised it's a Poison Shift. Um, but Poison Shift is pretty standard on the Vox. Gives good, gives good sustain. Um, gives good lifesteal. And I suppose will help against the Idris. Um, but they do look to take gold mine as. Um, Sync Gaming do spot them out and see what they can do in this mid -area. Chakram coming down is doing some nice damage on Tanky. They're locking on a Tanky, doing some nice damage. Reflex Block coming out, but Tanky's going to go down. Ford Barrage is doing some nice damage, but getting kind of low. Arcane Passion is coming down. The Hellfire Brew is going to get blocked by the Reflex Block. Surrey Striking over the team. The Shimmer Strike onto the Surrey Striking Sky, and he's going to be able to take down the Sky. Lyra, all by her lonesome, has to survive for three seconds if she wants to keep them from getting that ace. And she's going to be able to do yeah. that, but it uh, looks like they're going to be able to corner her in that side of the base and take her down. Low on energy, is not able to put that Imperial Sitter down and get out of there. The amount of gold Sink Gaming got for those kills, they went from about 8k gold lead behind to only 5k behind. That's how much um, of a bounty uh, Team Gauntlet members had on their heads. So... But this is what you saw in that team fight, Blake. They focus the Vox, then they focus the Sky as a three-man team. That's what they need to do in these fights. Focus on one hero at a time, take them down, because if they try to go, one goes for one hero and the other goes for another hero, it's not going to work because there's just too much mobility on the side of Team Gauntlet. But if all three focus on one hero, they have a chance. Oh, there goes the target lock. Death from above coming down. He's going to be able to stun the Arden. Arden getting caught out. Gauntlet coming down, but he's going to get killed in the middle of it. Vox doing some nice damage to Idris. The Tenjin bow coming out on uh, Vox is going to be doing a lot of burst damage here. Ford Barrage is going to be able to cut off that Ringo, and that's going to be an ace. 
nice turn of push they're going to be able to get here with that ace. Yeah, definitely. It was actually attention bow on Vox. It was attention bow on Ringo. Um, oh, I looked at the wrong build. <laughs> it's no problem at all, buddy. He, uh, the Vox did pick up breaking point, though, um, as you rightly predicted and said that he would. Um, so that's a good pickup. Three item build. Poison Shift, Sour Blade, Breaking Point, pretty solid. I can't see him going for another um, item. If I were him, I would go for another item because um, I think they have enough to stay between the Imperial Residual and the Poison Shift to get a fourth item. Just keep that Reflex block on board and follow it up with an Aegis, which does give both CP defense and Weapon Barrier defense. Um, but you know, Sync Gaming, they, they let themselves get caught out a little bit in that in that team fight, but Ooh, Vox looking nice to engage, he's right by himself. Imperial Sigil coming out though, doing some nice damage. Wave for it coming down. Idris is gonna go down and the item silence coming out on Arden. Arden not able to use any of his abilities. Vox is gonna be able to lock onto the Ringo. Ringo goes down, and Arden is the next victim. Oh, the taunt's coming out from Panky. Port dancing right in front of his face. And there goes Arden. Oh, 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 did he did he get a little cocky? Oh no, Arden is gonna be able to get down. Panky almost let that one get away. Woo. He did, he did, because the Vanguard was did did uh give um it did give King Luce for just a slight chance. John plays is like up, he's gonna be able to try to take out them, try to salvage this game. Shimmer Strike coming down, no chakra room down though to follow up the Shimmer Strike, and he's gonna go down, tanky. And Ast of Lord is going to get healed by the Imperial Sigil Gauntlet coming down, but it's not going to be able to, to detour this team Gauntlet this time. That's going to be an Arden kill. Is it? Is, is he going to die? Is his health actually going to go down? Yeah, go down. Come on. You know you can do it. There we go. There's the kill. <laughs> There's the ace. And that's going to be game two and the series for Team Gauntlet. Yeah, it did. by all means, they, they did control both games. Um, and looking into the second game, they they got ahead. Sync Gaming, it, that was less um, Team Gauntlet completely overpowering and more Sync Gaming just making this slight few um, misplays between not being as a, as a three-man team all the time and not pay, playing to their power spikes. Also, at Sean Place, he didn't get weapon power that, at defense quite early enough. Even though he got that, he went for the Shadow Glass um, Dragon's Eye that he wanted to get, which is good. But you just need that little bit more defense on the Idris, especially against the Sky that does counter the Idris overall. But, um, yeah, my, 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 my player of this match has to be as Well, that's a on both the Sky and the Rhyme, he did carry a lot of both those games. He was 9-1 in on this one. So, great, great game by, by um, Team Gauntlet. Um, yeah, GG, well played. Yeah, really great series there. They both did really well, but the win does eventually go to Team Gauntlet. And uh, while uh, Sync Gaming tried to bring the, their, their own weapon against them, the Gauntlet was not able to shut them down. It wasn't. Um, and, and just like, it's because when, when I speak about how in gaming they just had those slight misplays when they did go in as a three-man team going back to that one fight by the gold mine they focus on that one hero and i do hope if they look back on these vods if sean plays uh, asks anything about those two matches the first thing i would say was look at the point when you won that team fight and look what you did differently compared to every other team fight you focus on that one hero that's that's nine times out of ten how how a team wins a game is they focus on the right hero at the right time, shuts them down, and then it snowballs into this three-man kill. They were unfortunate not to get the ace, but it shows the potential that Sync Gaming have if they play it right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, yeah, fant fantastic game, and I wish both teams best luck future in these series and in these games for the EZL. Um, sorry guys about the technical difficulties. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Team Gauntlet won, right? Like 2-0. That's what happened? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, um, we'll probably do another match. Their, their next match, we'll announce it in EZL. Make sure you join the EZL Discord. Follow me on Twitter. I never post anything there, but do it anyway. 
And thank you so much, Bleakinator and Imperium, for casting. Seriously, you guys kept it alive while the visual difficulties were going on. So, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I will be streaming the, fi the final match. So definitely tune in. I'll have my stuff fixed by then. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone. Bye.